Hi, everyone. Susan Gerpik here from Psychics Explained. Just a kind of a hodgepodge at the moment. I wanted to give you some updates on a few things. I received an email today and you guys can email me or Facebook message me or whatever you need to do or leave me comments here on YouTube. I always read them. I don't always. And I try to get back to you right away, but I don't always make a video on them. But I had received one this morning. I'm just going to kind of be briefly sum it up. I'm trying to wrap my mind around how I'm going to answer this, this email. Let me um, kind of read bits of it to you. This is somebody from Canada and they are uh, involved in the world of working with people who are um, elderly and they are working in a care facility for the elderly and they're talking about how much pain and grief that is associated with people who are in situations like that where they're I guess in America we would call it a rest home or something like that they're not resting or anything like that but you know it's you're supposed to be getting better or sometimes it's end of end of care end of life care and so at this point it's very it's a very stressful situation for people and it, and for their families and so on. Well, the person who wrote to me said that there's a Facebook group in their area that is from their town, a small town or a big town. I don't really quite know. And they sell goods. You know, it's like a, you know, hey, do you want to buy my dresser? Would you like to get um, some uh, golf clubs, you know, <laughs> or I have... Um, a dog walking service kind of thing. Well, what this person is noticing is there's a large amount of psychic mediums that are in this buy and sell kind of group, and they don't quite know what to do about it. They're furious because the mediums are obviously um, charging money. You know, of course, if you do a service, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, as long as the service is actually real. I mean, I guess that, that makes you should expect some kind of goods for that. And they also do other things like they cleanse your house or they remove spirits or demons or whatever like that. So in other words, they're, it's it's this world of the psychic medium and the paranormal. So the person who's writing this is very upset. And, and part of the pushback they're getting when they reach out to the... Um, the buy and sell website, the Facebook page, is that, oh, well... You know, they're, these people are, uh, they think they're real. They think they're giving a service. And the people who are buying the service know what they're getting. They're adults, so they should have the ability to make the decision for themselves if they want to uh, partake in the service. And if they want to feel like they're getting some kind of service for it. And so... The person writing the email is very frustrated because they're trying to explain this is just it's preying on people who are in vulnerable situations, which is what I keep saying all the time. And I mean, I totally get it. It's, um, it's frustrating, just very frustrating. There's no real laws about this. And unless the person who is who's paid for the service comes forward and says, I've you know, I didn't get what I wanted for it and I want a refund and they won't give me a refund unless, or I paid for the service and I didn't get anything at all. I mean, they didn't even show up. I just gave them money or, um, you know, I, I'm more devastated than I was before I had the, the service done. So I completely get that. So I don't know what I'm going to say to this person. I got to think about how I'm going to say this. Obviously I'm going to agree with them. I'm going to give them some, um, articles that were done by um, my my dear friend uh, Daniel Reed, uh, who is a who is a licensed therapist who's actually has schooling and practice and has experience in dealing with people who are in grief and people who in who are therapy therapy. So I'll put a link to that here under this video whenever you watch this. If you give it a look, that'd be great. So maybe I can give him, give the person who wrote to me this, this email and uh, support. And I guess just keep pushing back on these, these uh, 
psychic mediums and spirit people who get rid of spirits and stuff like that for you. Another article that I'm going to share with you today that will also go in here in the um, description underneath this video is just came out and it, my friend, Kenny Biddle, if you guys aren't following Kenny, B Kenny Biddle, who is the chief investigator at the center for inquiry, you should be. So he put out a link to this article that is fascinating. Again, this is in Canada, British Columbia, and a family in British Columbia is very upset because a TV show, one of those paranormal TV shows, um, didn't approach them first, and they would have said no if they had, but their daughter had died and a couple years ago, and the paranormal show decided that it would talk about how this girl is, uh, you know, her traumatic death or her traumatic life and, and that kind of thing. And, and the family's pissed because, you know, she's 17 years old and it feels like this TV station and this paranormal group just is using their daughter's name, her, her situation to, you know, get clicks and to get likes and to, to tell the story. And, you know, people are leaving flowers and just awful stuff that, that, well, not leaving flowers is not a problem, but wh what they're doing is they're saying, you know, it's virtual virtue uh, grief waving or whatever. It's, it's saying, <laughs> it, it's like, this is our private affair. And, you know, this is one of the worst times of our life. And here you are not even giving us permission, you know, not even asking us. And you're using my daughter's, um, I, th I believe they're using her name and using her death as to do this pretend show and um, to get sympathy for them. It's, it's, it's cruel, you know, it's very cruel. So anyway, they're getting it retracted and I believe they are, they're saying what the family is saying is that they feel re-traumatized by, by having to go through this again, by finding this, this um, paranormal group in this TV station using their daughter's death in this way. Um, they still, they say they feel exploited and I can't say I blame them. So anyway, I'll put a link to that also in the description of this video. I thought it was really interesting. A um, couple other things I'm going to mention really quick is that um, people put out these videos and I'm putting out this video here for information use for people to understand things. There are commercials on some of my videos and I was hoping, you know, maybe I could make a little bit of money off of this. Um, I want to let you know, there is no money to make in this. <laughs> um, making YouTube videos. I I'm started this in March of 2023. And I'm recording this in May of 2024. And I'm at, I think, $70. And they haven't even issued a check. They won't even issue a check until you hit $100. So I want you to know, there really is a lot of money in this. If any money at all but when you get up into the views when you get up to the bigger views there is money if you put out a lot of content and you really push the um you know the emotion and that kind of thing there is money to be made on it and i want to show you this website that somebody steered me to it's called socialblade.com and what it does is you can put the the name of the youtube channel and you have to look because it, it the youtube channel isn't necessarily what you see on the name you have to look at the at symbol and then their name so matt frazier has a youtube channel it's called matt frazier but you have to go look into the description of the youtube channel and you find out that his is actually at matt wait at meet matt frazier and that's the website for YouTube that you'd have to look it up. So you can look up any any YouTube channel, including mine right here, and you'll see what I said, that there's no money in it. And you can see my views and subscribers and how many people view and how many people, um, you know, the, the roller coaster of people who subscribe and so on. So I thought I'd just throw out a couple here just to give you a, sh uh, a show of what, what it looks like. So this first one I'm going to show you is Matt Frazier, who puts out videos all the time. 
Um, so not only is he making he has money in book sales and he does very uh <laughs> um uh profitable um events one of my friends said that uh she says oh my gosh matt frazier's coming to my area and i said yeah well he he travels all the time that must be grueling and she says, how much are the tickets? And she looked at it. She says, it was $350. <laughs> I said, he'll fill that room too. He gets like, when I've been to his shows, I think they're typically about 300 or so people in the room. So that's a lot of money considering it's just him and his manager and maybe one other person that needs to run it. You stay, you get your airfare um, and you've got the rental of the room. It's usually in a nice-ish kind of, a hotel or casino and then you've got your hotel rooms for the few people who are there and tables and that's about it you know somebody help line people up it's it's pretty profitable um so if you if you can if you can get this gig there's money in it not that i really would want to do anything like that because that would just be oh oh my gosh so <laughs> here is let me screen share this so that you can see the stat page. I think I think it's interesting. So here's the Matt Fraser um, article. I mean the tons of ads on this. Sorry, pardon, pardon. And you can look down here, and it tells you the views um, and subscribers and estimated earnings. Now this is estimated, and some of the range is kind of high, from nine to one hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, that's quite a quite a range. But you look down in here, his daily averages, um, viewers are about 40,000 views. And then over here, estimated earnings. So daily, he's making anywhere from $10 to $163 a day. Weekly averages range to about $1,000 a day, anywhere from $71 to $1,000 a day. And then in a month, he has about 1.2 million views and about 4,000 subscribers. And so it's a growing, it's growing. And he can make anywhere from $306 to $5,000 a month. So that's a nice bit of change. I mean, $300 is not, but obviously, um, you know, $5,000 a month is really good. Um, and so here's, here's the uh, chart for subscribers and for views. This first top part is the video views and this bottom part is subscribers. And you can see a trend of, you know, at a high, somebody could look this up and see what was going on in January, late January, 2022, and see why his subscribers went way up. And then you look again, what, what happened that made the subscribers go way down? That's, that's pretty interesting. And then it's been kind of consistent over time, a little bit of a bump in, and then you can see also for the viewership, here's some video came out that had a lot of people view his videos and then somehow or other they kind of went down for I don't know maybe he didn't put out videos again in a while so I thought that was interesting and let's just for example sake let's look at Thomas John and you can see that he's making almost nothing from his videos and that's because he's not uploading to his, his YouTube channel which is fascinating Thomas John is mostly now on TikTok um, and um, people pay him pay him by you they give you I, I think you buy these coins or something and you you tip the person and so he's using tiktok which i assume we could find out if there's any money to make in that but on youtube his videos he's kind of looks like he's given up on him he hardly ever puts any uh, videos out for youtube but um, you can see that he has about twenty five thousand subscribers which is a lot compared to me and he is making next to nothing. So maybe he's not monetized. I think he has to be monetized to be on this chart. So you can use, so you go to socialblade.com slash YouTube. And then you're going to be able to just put over here the username for whoever you want to look up. So if you've got any favorite YouTubers and you want to look them up and see how much they're making. Um, I was very curious because I had a, I was looking at a science website, some guy who has a, um, he's a, like a professor and he decided he'd go to s explain science topics on YouTube instead of doing, you know, being a professor. And he's making, he can make up to $30,000 a month. And I thought, oh my God, 
thirty thousand a month. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of uh, milk duds there. So anyway, I thought that was fascinating. Um, and I think I'm going to end this by letting you know that if you want to get in contact with me, I'm going to remind you again that you can get in contact with me. I'm happy to answer your messages. I don't have a social uh, secretary to handle everything or anything like that. I, I handle everything. So it's Susan Gerbeck at gmail.com. And you can also uh, reach out to me on Facebook Messenger. I'm happy to do that. But on Facebook Messenger, sometimes the messages get hidden because it looks like spam and I don't always notice it. I try to go and look at that filter to see every so often. And um, I will be giving talks. I give talks all over the United States, actually all over the world. And sometimes I do them about psychics and sometimes I do them about other projects that I do. And um, I will be in uh, North Carolina, coming up in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm going to be in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm going to be in um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I looks like I'm going to be in Eugene, Oregon coming up and probably Seattle, Washington, and then uh, Buffalo, New York. So, you know, if you want to me to come and do a talk for you, even over Zoom for your civic group, your or, or, um, um, class classroom I, I'm happy to do that and also I can come out and do talks or whatever you need so if you have the need to have somebody explain the psychic world from my viewpoint um, is best with the knowledge that I have um, I'm happy to do that and um, especially if it's over zoom I'm not going to charge you or anything like that over, over, especially if it's over zoom Unless if you ask me to get up at three in the morning or something like that to do something in Australia, me, no, I probably wouldn't charge you for that either. So, you know, reach out if if you have a need for this or if you have, if you need to have something explained, like some odd experience and you say, Susan, what do you think of this? You know, I'm, I'm happy to give you my opinion on what I think is going on. And, um, but, you know, don't really write to me if you're going to argue with me about, um, something is for sure for reals and then i ask you which i'm i'm going to ask you do you have a recording and there and if you say no then i'm going to probably tell you we misremember you know even if you took notes at the time if you don't have the audio then we don't know exactly what happened i wasn't there and and there's so many different ways that a medium will manipulate the conversation with um um the the word play where they they mess around with the words and it's and you misremember i get this all the time people will say he knew it was my dad and his and he knew my dad's name is robert <clears throat> and you i would respond to him and say he said your dad's name is robert and he's trying to get in touch with you he's dead and they say yeah that's what he said but what actually when you roll back the tape if you are lucky enough to get some kind of audio what it is is um the medium says there's a robber around you who wants to be an older robber person do you or bob bobby um raymond robert a name like a r rob kind of sound you know robert and all those names are all very common in in you know um america and the uk and, and lots of uh, English speaking places. And then the person who's the sitter, who is obviously very um, uh, motivated to get this reading, who really wants to be in touch with somebody, will seize on that and say, Oh, that's my dad. He died a few years ago. His name is Robert. And so they misremember. Nobody's lying. The sitter is not lying. Um, they misremember it and they say later they say they interpret it you know because we're storytelling creatures and we like to tell stories and we want to make it sound really good so we also will interpret it this way and we'll say the medium reached out and knew my dad's name was robert and that he has died when in fact it was not that it was just the medium cold reading throwing out a common name and you being the motivated person seized on it and interpreted it differently and that's common so if if you're in that kind of situation 
that's what I'm going to end up saying, unless I have the audio that we can really go through and see. And I'm still, it's not evidence necessarily because, you know, it could be lots of things, but let's, let's look at it and listen to it together. So thank you, everyone. Um, spend some time in nature because it is beautiful, at least where I'm at right now. And it's uh, a great time to be outside. Thanks all. Like and subscribe. Leave me comments. Read the things in the description.